Welcome friends, welcome back to The Hangar. I am one excited guy. I know this might not mean a whole lot to you, but to me, this is a giant major breakthrough in the progress on the aircraft. We have lights. We have lights, which means we have electricity. Um, let me turn on the, uh, the, the hangar lights. Which means we have electricity, and electricity is a huge deal because we ripped out all of the wiring in this airplane. Everything was taken out. Everything from the firewall back was replaced. Everything from the firewall forward was replaced. And so for a long time, there was no power to the panel. Having lights on means we now have power to the panel, which means a lot of the wiring is put back in, which means we are one step closer to both getting the Dynon panel put in, all of the electronics and the computers, which means we're one step closer to finally getting this back in the air to start flying. I am really excited about that. And so these landing and taxi lights are super, super bright. They are absolutely fantastic. So on today's episode, we'll be moving forward with that final little bit of panel design with finishing up with a little bit of wiring that needs to be done before we get the panel into the aircraft. And also buttoning up a lot of the interior of the aircraft. We're finished in a lot of places, which means I can start putting panels back on, closing it up. We've already got the wiring all sort of bundled through the interior of the aircraft, so everything's tightened up and we're ready to go. And so now that Chris has all of the electrical part done behind the panel, all the new switches and breakers, it's time to start making up the avionics trays and shelves for the back of the Dynon. So these trays uh, go behind each of the panels and to them I'm attaching the radio and the transponder and the backup batteries and then we're going to fit all of that to the test panels put it in and just make sure that everything fits and sort of look at the cable runs. Um, what's going to go where and how it's all going to fit together just as a test. And we'll see how that works out. And there. It's coming together, Chris. It looks good. Yeah. You saw what I was saying about the, the placard. Right? Let's try to clock it. Yeah. Put a placard in here somewhere? Yeah, well, so there was a couple, I taped them to it here. Like someone, uh, you know, you put that in the starter on. And oh, put this, on. Put, this, put this where the starter is, yeah. Yeah, right, where the, nearby the starter or whatever's supposed to be yep. there. The other is the, the T TCDS one. Is it lost? Um, it was on the armrest on the, on yeah, the uh, pilot there, side. we can leave it, but otherwise that might be a good place to catch it in. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, still on the, it's still on the armrest and it's legible, yeah. So, I can put this in to the panel and see how it all fits together. Okay, so. goes in behind. This is a little bit awkward. When we do the final panel, we'll actually attach this to the panel before we stick it all together. I'm just trying to uh, not pull it all apart. And so I'll just slide in the backup. It goes in here and I can't really screw it into place yet. So it'll just sort of sit there. You get the idea. All new switches, and we're gonna move these switches so that these two 
come up beside here um, and we're going to do away with this row of lower switches. So we'll have all, all six of them right here. All new breakers and the breakers are probably going to come up about a half inch uh, just to kind of clear this the uh, stationary panel a little bit better than they already do. Primary, secondary flight. This is our thing for setting um, the altimeter and the barometer and the heading bug, the track bug. A radio um, that's just sort of sitting in place right now. I can't screw it in. This is our intercom. Uh, this is the mag switch. This hole and this hole will be throttle and mixture. Uh, this hole is for the primer. Forgotten what that one is. Figure that one out. That one's the yoke. This is the clock from the original panel. In this section here, um, we're going to have another one of these um, USB ports, a secondary USB port, and there will also be the emergency switch for the ELT. These three are parking brake, um, air, and cabin heat. And then this whole section here is going to be left blank for the time being. And that um, will allow me to upgrade at some point in the future to an IFR panel. I would probably, when I put the IFR panel in, I would probably either shift this one over here and put the IFR unit in the middle, or maybe shift this one over this way and put the IFR here. I haven't decided yet. That's at least a year to 18 months away. So overall, I think we did okay. I think this is, uh, I think this is a go. A couple of changes. I'm going to email those to Lyle tonight. We'll do a phone call with him just to make sure that everything is great and we're all on the same page and then we'll get the final panel in. Hey Lyle, how's it going? Pretty good, Glenn. Good to see you. Excellent. Good to see you too. So we've, um, we've been playing with the drawings. Okay. And we've, we've got that plastic panel. The clear plastic panel was a great thing. Yeah, no, it works good. Works really well because you can put everything in and you can see where your, where your sticking points are, which is fantastic sure, sure. From, a, from a layout perspective. So we're, we've sent this drawing back to you and it's just minor little wiggles of spacing um, mm -hmm. in order mm -hmm. to clear the yoke. Yeah, there's a, it looks like the, uh, well, you mentioned yourself, I think Lyle, the box was a little bit bigger than what we expected. The shelf, the tray, the shelf. yeah. Yeah, and so it's all that, like it's, uh, we need, well, three quarters of an inch, what we have written down here, but I bet you a quarter would do it. Probably, yeah. but three quarters gives us lots Plenty of space. Of yeah. yeah. So you're gonna take this drawing now then, Lyle, and you're gonna cut it. Yes, yes, we're, we're actually all set up to cut it later on this afternoon. Okay, and then, and then powder coat and laser etch. That's correct. Um, what color are you powder coating? Well, I believe we decided on a light gray. Is that correct? Or what did you want? Yeah, I think, I think, yeah. I think, I think, I think light gray works well. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's what I have in my personal airplane, uh, my 172L, and I, I like it quite a bit. Okay, good contrast with everything. And That's correct. Excellent. And... Um, you will also etch on our, our registration mark, correct? I didn't, I didn't put that on the drawing. That's correct, yeah. What we do is it's a, it's a two-stage process, so we lay down a, a base white, and then we'll go over it with the top coat, and then we'll go back over it and laser engrave down through that top, um, that top layer. And we'll be producing another drawing here that'll be probably sent out later on this weekend that'll have all the actual markings Everything in the drawing so far is just for placement to give an idea, but we go in and create a vector file that'll have everything on there. Fantastic. And so we can look at that and, and then maybe play with that a little bit before you get to the laser etching point, if need be. That's correct. Absolutely. Okay. And so you're thinking uh, two and a half to three weeks from this point then? That's what, we're, that's what we hope for. I mean, everything looks pretty good. Uh, the powder coating uh, that we use, They've got a good schedule right now. The laser engraving shop, they've got a good schedule right now. We're not suffering from too many, you know, crazy supply chain issues. So I think two and a half weeks is a good time frame. Cool. I think that we're good then. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So um, thanks a lot for helping us with this, Lyle. And sure, I'll, absolutely. I'll put all the links to, I'll put all the links to Lyle's uh, stuff down below so people can follow through with you if they've got a project coming up. Excellent. I really appreciate it. Thanks so much, Glenn. Thank you very much for helping us. Talk to you soon. Thanks, Lyle. Okay, bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.